Alright guys, what's up everyone? So I really hope you like that footage of my area around where I am. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to film yesterday after I last spoke to you guys. Reason is because I was filming a wedding and I was literally filming from 12 p.m. all the way to 10 p.m. at night, so 10 hours straight of filming. My feet are dying. <laughs> but anyways, man, this is the Airbnb that me and my friends were staying at. This place has like five bedrooms, which is kind of crazy. They all left. I'm actually the last one here. As you can tell, my car, or oh, you can't see outside right now, but take, check it out. My car is the only one here right now, my feet up. Yeah, so my car is the only one here right now. I honestly had such a great time here. Uh, it's simply beautiful here. The weather is amazing. It's humid, but it's nice humid. It's hot, but it's nice hot. I don't know what other way or how else I could explain the men, but I had a good time here. So what I'm doing now is I'm actually heading back to LA. I know I'm filming in Hawaii on my way back to LA. I my flight leaves at 3 p.m., so I'm gonna return this car at one. So I figured today, with my only free time, I'll film myself going around and back to the airport. Yeah, and on the way back to my home. So here we go. So I'm in the car right now. I honestly have no idea where it is I want to go. Like I want to show you guys where it is. I am, where I am in the world right now. Okay, I just want to show you guys where I'm in the world. So this is where I am in the world right now. Now in Hawaii. All right, let's zoom out. This is the island I'm in. This is Maui, and this is where I am compared to the entire world. Right there in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> oh, dang. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I, I I feel so far away, and I'm not gonna lie, man. Like. Um, I cannot wait to go back home. I just want to go back to the house and I just want to Go back to my place recuperate before I start work on Monday again And I still have a lot of moving to do as well. So yeah, man. I mean Hawaii is nice I'm not gonna lie. It is a beautiful place. I love it here, but I love My area even that much more, but it was nice man. So let's get on the road Right now, and I don't know where I'm going, but let's just drive Alright guys, what's up everyone? So, I am on my lunch break right now. So let me get my car real quick. Okay, so because I know it's been a minute since I've actually uploaded a video, today I wanna share something with you guys that I actually shared on my Instagram, uh, which got quite a few comments, which is kinda crazy. And so what I wanna share with you today is actually how much I made at my first developer job. And no, this is not clickbait. So let me go to my house really quick, a little more safely, because I don't wanna vlog while driving. Well. I mean, why would I ever do that, right? Sunrise with you. Be my, be you know I've been alone. All right guys, so I just got into the house. So before I tell you how much I actually earned at my first developer job, I wanna tell you the reason that I'm doing this. The reason I want to share with you my salary at my first developer job is simply because I want you to be able to know that we all start from somewhere. I wanna let you know that becoming a developer isn't that easy. It is going to be hard, and it is hard. But even more than that, when you do become a developer, when you do get your first developer job, I do worry that some people think that you will immediately make 120, $100,000 a year, but that is not true whatsoever. 
But in reality, that's not what always happens. Uh, when you get your first developer job, you will not make as much as you think you will when you Google front end developer salaries, junior developer salaries, whatever it is. There will be times if you're very lucky and you know what, depending on your pure talent, yes, you could potentially get a very high paying job right away. But for a lot of people who are self-taught particularly, there's a very good chance you probably won't make what you think you'll make right away. But if you're like me from the background I came from, no matter what you earn at your first developer job, it will still be more than what you earned at your last job, right? And even more than that, I think what's very important is that you really make sure that you really know what you're getting yourself into. That you know what the life of a developer is and that's why I made this channel. People keep wanting tutorials on my tutorial channel and I promise to make a JavaScript tutorial and I will, I will, I will. Now that I have a lot more time and I live in this place, right? So I will make all of that, but I want people to really understand what it is that you're getting into. What I made at my first developer job is much more than what I made before. The, another reason why I'm sharing this too is because when I actually, I did share this on Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, you really need to. <laughs> so if you go to this post on my IG, boom. On here, what I actually share with you guys on my Instagram, it has about 622 plus likes, has about 107 comments, which is kind of crazy. Uh, even the founder of Team Treehouse actually commented on it. A lot of people commented on it. A lot of people who've never commented on my comments comment on it. And on there, I actually shared with everyone my acceptance letter, or not acceptance letter, my offer letter from my last company where they offered to pay me this salary. So what was I paid at my first developer job? Please know at this time, I barely knew HTML, CSS. I knew no JavaScript frameworks, no libraries. I did not know any backend languages. I did not know how to make a site from scratch. I based everything I did off the tutorials from learning on teamtreehouse.com. You can check it out, link in the description below. And so this is what I paid for someone who learned code in three months. This is what I got paid for someone who only knew what I knew after studying for three months. This is what I made at my first developer job and how I changed my life in a matter of three months. My first developer job, I was offered in an annual salary of $45,000 a year. That's it. To some people, to a lot of people, they'll say, Chris, that's it. I got offered more in my first set of job. Well, I'm happy for you, man. I only got hired after three months of learning code. That doesn't happen to many people. Even more than that, my salary before what I made $45,000 a year was nothing. Even more than that, where I lived, compared to then, right? But for when at that time where I lived was in, a, you can see my closet right there. My bedroom was smaller or just actually, it was just as big as that closet, maybe a little shorter than my actual walk-in closet. Like check this out. So it's a little messy right now, but I'm, I'm still moving in. So this closet right here is longer than my room right here. There you go. So this closet that I have right here, my walk-in closet, this was the bedroom I lived in for five years for five years because of what I actually earned before my first developer job. Even more than that, because I was so used to living in that situation. When I lived in my first developer job, because I was paid only $45,000 a year, I stayed here until I went to my new job where I work now, which is at Entrepreneur Magazine. But yes, that is what I earned at my first dev job. I made $45,000 a year. Now people want to know what I make now. I make way more than that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I mean, way more. That doesn't even include what I make from YouTube. Do you see what I'm saying? So what I made on my first dev job, 45K a year, and now this is my master bedroom. This is where I live, this is my life now. At your first dev job, your number one goal isn't just to get paid a lot at your first job as a developer, but that job should be your stepping stone. That first job you get is just your door into another job in the future. Cause I'll tell you this, a lot of junior developers at the first dev job, you won't get paid that much, but you can in the future. You're investing in yourself, they're investing in you, and hopefully they continue to give you more raises so you can stay at that company. As for me, they didn't on my first job, so I moved on. And I'm so happy, and I'm honestly, I'll tell you this, man, what I get paid on my new job is amazing, but even more than my pay, the culture at my current company now is amazing. Wow, my boss, my, my managers, right? Uh, my coworkers are simply amazing, they're fun, we all get along. And even more than just the pay, that culture makes it all worth it, right? I, I do get scared, like, man, like, these projects I'm given are tough. I've never, like, email templates, I've never made things like this, but I'm glad I took that risk to move on to my second job to be where I am now. Yes, that's what I was paid on my first dev job. Before I end this video, I remember three months when I first started learning code, I told my friends, you guys should try it too, man, you could change your life. 
and none of them did it. Three months later, I got a job as a developer, and then they're all like, what the heck? Right? They were surprised, like, okay, maybe they should do it. They still haven't done it, man. This was two and a half years ago, and they still haven't learned code. Now, I have some friends learning code, and I told them I'm willing to help them out so they could get into this industry too, and that's changed my life, and I hope this will change yours. I hope this video, more than just information, I hope it will encourage you. But yeah, man, anyways, video house tour coming very soon. See you guys later. Hope you liked the video. If you can, please like this video. If not, at least leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Or maybe share it in the comments below what you made at your first developer job. Let's go ahead and let's change the world one developer at a time. See you guys later. This is Krishant, Life of a Developer. And I'm out. And I'm hungry. I'm going to go eat on my lunch. Peace. No, let's do this.